Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer. Well, last time we uh, started the plot missions and uh, met up with a guy named Sandoval, but um, he's disappeared, and he, he had a little mission for us, but uh, when we were done with that, we've come back, and there's this woman here named Taylor. But where's Sandoval? Ah, you look just like your picture. Too bad. Huh? After a few drinks, you'll change your mind, Miss... Uh... <laughs> Call me Taylor. I used to do business with Sandoval. I'd rather talk about my face. What's wrong with it, anyway? Nothing, except the police have it plastered all over the hollows. Sandoval is dead, and they want you for questioning. Tough break, but I'm here to offer you work now that you're between jobs. I need you to make four special deliveries for me. By special, you mean risky and illegal. And lucrative. The first run pays 10,000 credits. That's lucrative? Thanks, but I got my own leads to follow up. Right, the artifact. You have it, but you don't know anything about it. I could fill you in after you fly my missions. How about it, Captain? Hmm. Sounds like a tempting offer, but only 10,000 credits? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'll check into this artifact business alone. Bad choice. You're in danger as long as you hold on to that thing. And you're walking away from more money than you ever dreamed of. Real? What? He has 10,000 credits. What are you talking about? More money, though. I'm intrigued. Back, huh? I figured you'd change your mind. That remains to be seen. Look, it's a great deal. Your cargo will consist of nothing but plastics. Completely legal. Supposedly, you'll be running it to Newcastle, but actually, you'll divert to Oakham, a hidden pirate base, and dock. You won't have any trouble with the pirates because you work for me. Once there, leave your ship unattended and meet me in the bar there at Oakham for your pay. In exchange for the service, I'll pay you 10,000 credits, and don't forget, I have information on the artifact, info I'll share, if you fly for me. So, is it a deal? Nah, I still don't like it. If you don't want the job, just leave me alone. <laughs> I always love to give the no uh, lines. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll take your offer. Sure, why not? I could use the credits. All right, sounds good. And now we've got a new mission to uh, head over to uh, this Oakham pirate base. All right, let's go. See if we'll get some action this time, running into some enemies, possibly. So I can demonstrate the new firepower of this thing. And no, so far nothing. Okay, well let's head over to, uh, okay, now our plot to get there. Yeah, we want to go to Pentonville. Where is Pentonville, you may ask? Well, I'll show you. Uh, we want to go to, yes, this place first. <coughs> yeah, the little XXN, we've seen that planet before. And, uh, no, 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 so far I... Let me know if you hit trouble in my quad. Oh, thanks, buddy, I appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, so far no enemies. I guess, uh, once they saw I'm in the Centurion, they, uh, decided they didn't want any piece of me. And to be fair, I can definitely see why they'd be scared. All right. Boom! Yeah. Okay. And all is good there. Now we're going to want to head to... Let's see... Uh, okay, where was it next? I think it was... Yeah, this is where I want to go next. I've run this route a thousand times or BCS Universe because... Actually, in doing the grinding I needed to get the credits for the Centurion, I found myself getting a lot of missions to the Padre base. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the, the Padre system, the Magdalene base. So, that's not a bad place to go. Sometimes you'll get attacked by enemies... Uh, when you get into uh, Padres, so just watch for that. But man, look at how fast I can afterburn now. I can just rip through these zones. It took me forever in my old... Hey, where is it? There we go. It took me forever in my old uh, Taurus there. Piece of crap. Love that jump sequence. Never get enough of that. Okay, ah, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, some Talons. That's fine. Bring it. 
Load up my gun. Let's see what this tachyon can do. Eh, not bad. But, uh, well, so far, I wish it would hit a little bit, be a little more accurate, but that's alright. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's ripping through those shields, I can tell already. Fire! Did I hit him? Yeah, look can at that. Be? Has the God of Man abandoned us? Huh? God of Man? What the hell are you talking about? Ooh. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be careful. Sometimes these talents can get the jump on you. Oh, lock on. Go! Oh! Yeah, got him. Yeah, sometimes you know you can you can get swarmed pretty quickly. But fortunately, I've got that shield generator to help me out. I wish I had a second gun, but ooh, what the crap was that? Yeah, these yeah these uh these um these friend or foe missiles are much better than those torpedoes I had to deal with earlier. Yeah, sometimes it'll take you one or two kill or one or two missiles to uh to uh, take out a ship, but that's fine. Come on, nail him! Yeah, almost. Yeah, this thing will fly a little bit better once I get a uh, once I get a uh, second gun. Go do more damage to these ships, but you can. You know, sometimes you can think about ramming into them, too. Come on. Get him! There you go! Sweet. Yeah, no problems there, at all. Alright. So you know strategy here, you can just use missiles, or, uh... Uh, you can use missile... Yeah, it's not... Yeah, okay. Use missiles or your guns and shoot them down, and there shouldn't be problems. So anyways, you've seen me take out these ships, so I'll uh, finish up with this last one here, and I'll be right back once I'm done with that. Boom! <laughs> Love it. No problems there. Okay, now we want to head to Pentonville. The uh, next stop on our destination there. All right. Yeah, but yeah, those talons can be pretty tricky. Uh, see, so yeah, they they damage they managed to get the jump on me and damage my afterburners there. <coughs> now, if I had a repair droid, those would slowly get repaired. But I don't have one of those yet. Can't afford that quite yet. But that's okay. We'll get one eventually. To do some of these missions here, and uh, these introductory uh, missions to the plot aren't that difficult. But it is nice to have a centurion for them, and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Mostly for the afterburning part. Just because we'll be doing a lot of afterburning to zones, and it just gets annoying. Whoa. But yeah, we'll start adding some guns to this thing, and we'll start adding some uh, that repair droid, and upgrading the shields and engines and all that kind of stuff. It'll be great. And ah, there's our destination right over there. But hmm, it doesn't say anything is there. Interesting. Well, let's go check it out, I guess. Yeah, it says nothing's there. If you tried to come here earlier, I think it just says nothing's there, so... Okay, everything's good. Let's head over there again. I don't know why it stopped me there for some reason, but... Okay. Alright, Tendon. Oh, crap! Asteroids! Oh, jeez. Alright. Well, I hope I don't... This would suck to get destroyed by an asteroid right before you hit the base. I think this is a hidden pirate base. Would be my guess. Yeah, asteroids are not forgiving. Just like in many Wing Commander games. In fact, thinking about it, probably getting out of here, I'm going to have to um, dodge an asteroid field just to get out of this area. Stupid enemies. But yeah, this and this is supposedly a pirate base, but this, the pirates aren't attacking me, so that's nice. Definitely don't want to have to deal with that. Okay, come on. Usually I don't show dodging asteroids, but since we're so close to the base, you know, might as well. See what they have to say to me as I approach my destination. Plus, well, I haven't been with the BCS universe as often in the last little bit as I'd like to have, but let's we'll keep dodging They're the asteroid. An automatic landing zone. Okay, everything's good. Ooh, almost got hit by an asteroid there. And I can get tricky in this last floor part because the asteroids start blending in with the color of the base. So, and we'll land. All right, and we've successfully made it to a pirate base, but it looks kind of like a mining base, and it's got some odd music. 
What the heck's going on? And where's Taylor? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.